Hello, we're Malta and I have a Scottish painting and the artist is Hans Hansen, uh, R-S-W, Royal Society of Watercolourists. This artist sounds Norwegian or something like that, being called Hans Hansen, but he was actually, from memory, I think he was uh, born to um, people who had migrated to, to Scotland, to Scottish with a Scandinavian name, so that it doesn't look right, when you look at it at first, it doesn't key in to Scotland and I bought this picture in Malta in a sale room and the Maltese don't want English pictures and they don't want Scottish pictures on the, on the whole. So it's a generalisation but they want their own stuff um, which is correct of course. So we have this this, this, this watercolour and the, the te technical thing about this watercolour is that the blocks of colour are not marked by black lines. Most watercolours have black lines between the blocks of colour, yet in real life there are no black lines. For example, if you look at the top of a building and the blue sky, there, there isn't a black line. So the reason people paint them in, is draw them in, is because it makes it easier easy to paint. And, and, the, and the watercolours with black lines are sketch-like and rapid and they're lovely things. But to see a watercolour where there's not one Black outline is really rare, one in a hundred or more, or, or less, I should say. So we have this Scottish artist with a strange name who has exhibited, who's painted a market scene, and he has done lots of these scenes uh, around Northern Africa, Northern Africa, Libya, Algeria, Morocco, I don't know, Algeria perhaps, Tunisia perhaps, pre-plastic, pre-car, pre-refrigeration, we have the um, local people uh, in local costume, and it's de definitely North Africa. The sun is above the tarpaulins, the, the sun shades. This is a public forum with a gateway. No Christian churches, uh, some flat roofs, some pointy roofs, a dome. So, so it's a really nice, nice scene. That might be a foreigner. There's a, there's a wheel, a wheelbarrow. One of the ladies is selling cabbage from a, a rug on the floor. So it's, it's fantastic. The colours are extremely bright, yet it needs to come out of the frame, unfortunately. The frame's damaged and it's a boring frame and it's a horrible, black, ugly frame, which at the time when it was when it was framed, 1920, I'm just guessing, uh, that would have been a nice frame, um, an expensive frame, but it's um, not suitable for the people I deal with. It's wood with gesso, which has been painted and it's ebonized with a Dutch, Dutch ripple effect on the edge. So was a beautiful frame. There's a nice gold liner, glazed. It's kept the picture fantastic, but we have to examine what's inside. So before I do, I'll look at the back and just remind myself what it said. Street Market by Hans Hansen RSW, watercolor. So that's what I know anyway. I'll keep that for the, the center because I'm going to keep the center uh, this is a Scottish label, the framer, Campbell and Math Matheson. Print sellers, artists, colour men, picture frame makers, 18 Frederick Street, London, sorry, Edinburgh. Flyboard, a number of some sort, a backing paper. This has not been opened in 100 years. I'm going to open it now. The frame will be thrown away. And I will reincorporate this capsule into the framing we have done. We're going to we're going to uh, find a novel way of displaying it. <clears throat> uh, the label on the back is, is part of the value, and uh, what, I, what I don't really want to find is a shadow where the sun has faded the watercolour, which will mean I have to probably profit but we'll see it might be okay oh it's coming out lovely beautiful what a lovely frame so the backboard paper is still there i can feel that's extremely smooth this is the wooden rim which is wiped with gesso so that it will take a bowler, bolo, which is glue, glue paint, 
So it will take gold leaf. That's a gold, I think a gold leaf. It's hard to say in, the, in, in the slide. So usually when it has this white on it, it's a gold, it's a gold leaf. So I can see that, that that there is totally stuck together and will never be able to be separated. Now, fortunately, the painting is to the, to the edge nicely. The signature is not obscured. And with this capsule, with that label stuck on again, I will have it framed in a different manner. So I think that's a successful extraction. Um, it, I look, it looks better already, actually. Um, I hope that's been interesting. It's vandalism, I'm afraid, in a way, but the, the object is to sell these things and for people to have to want to have them in the house in the house no one, no one would want that black frame anymore unfortunately so this will be sent to a framer at some stage the framers will have their own ideas um they will frown at my suggestions when it comes to framing framing um but if this is framed inventively i think that uh it will be a very interesting possession for, for, for someone to have and the, the picture will get a new lease of life. Very good quality as you can see, bright. Thanks for looking.